Hey guys, good morning. Today's topic of discussion is uh, 802.11 interframe space. So let's look at the outlines. What are the topics we are going to cover in this presentation? First of all, we will look what is interframe space. Then uh, why interframe space came into picture? What are the types of interframe space? and uh, the interference space in detail. The finally, summary of all the interference space. Okay. Let's look one by one. Uh, what is interference space? In Wi-Fi, I mean WLAN, what happens after each frame transmission, A02.11 protocol require an ideal period on the medium. That's what called the interference space. That particular ideal period is called interference space. In short, we can call it as IFS interference space. The length of the IFS depends on couple of parameters. So, what are the what is the previous frame type? What are the following frame type? what kind of access category or what is the coordination function in use and the finally the fighter why this interference space came into picture uh, basically if you look at the main purpose of an IFS this is required both to provide uh, a buffer between frames to avoid interference as well as to add control and uh, to prioritize frame transmissions. They are the main purpose of uh, interframe space. Interframe spaces are the minimum number of microseconds that a channel must remain clear This is nothing but an ideal period and for that particular ideal period the medium will remain idle for minimum number of microseconds. So in other words we can say that this is how a station can tell when one frame ends and thus another frame can start. So during this interval the channel will be idle. The interframe spacing timing are defined as the time gaps on the medium. Different types of uh, traffic requires different priority levels. So this can be achieved by varying spacing between the frames. Coming to the types of interference space IEEE 802.11 WLAN standard defines various interference spaces so such as SIPS sort interference space the second one is PIPS PCF interference space third one is DIPS, DCF interference space. Then IPS, extended interference space. AIFS, that's what called the arbitration interference space. RIPS, reduced interference space. So if you look at uh, this, out of this six interference spaces, durations of time the order is first the rips will come then sips then pips then dips then aifs then the last one is eifs so as for this rips is the shortest one and uh, eifs is the big one 
first of all we will look what is slot time so if you look at the fundamental concept in 802.11 mac that is to avoid collision is to delay the transmission until medium becomes idle shifts and slot time this both are constant per physical layer this is constant this is clearly defined so a shift time period and a slot time period are calculated using the following parameters if you look at the shift time calculation this is nothing but rx rf delay plus rx plcp delay plus mac processing delay plus rx tx turn around time this is how the shift time calculated slot time slot time is calculated as cca time plus rx tx turn around time plus air propagation time plus back processing delay so this is how we have to calculate shift time and slot time so here this figure mentions three of those six types used for medium axis so the total idea here is to provide less delay for high priority traffic hence high priority traffic can use network before low priority one as soon as it is available that is the motto of this so look at the picture let's take the laser pointer here so if you look at this picture till this point the medium was busy after that interframe space came into picture here then contention window so contention window there is some backup slots again the frame uh, frame transmission so during this interframe spacing other stations buffer and differ these frames okay this is what uh, i mean to say so value of slot time are uh, as follows slot time equal uh, slot time for uh, a n a c which falls under 5 gigahertz that is equals to 9 microsecond then uh, slot time for g n in 2.4 gigahertz which is uh, high throughput or erp equals to 9 microsecond with short preamble but for g n which is 2.4 gigahertz ht or erp equals to 20 microsecond with long period similarly for bgn for dss that is equal to 20 microsecond coming to see sifs that is short interference space basically sifs are used for rts cts and uh, for positive ec best high priority transmission so once the shift duration get elapses the transmission can immediately start the medium will be busy after the shift period is over and hence this type of transmission will have higher priority over others sips can be calculated uh, it's as like this sips for bgn that is for 2.4 gigahertz equals to 
10 microsecond for a and ac 5 gigahertz equals to 16 microsecond pips pcf interference space so these pips are used by station during the contention free period that is called uh, c in pcf mode because pcf has uh, not implemented in uh, 802.11 devices you will not see pips used for this purpose pips can be calculated as uh, pips equals to sips plus slot time dips distributed interference space dips is the minimum idle time and it is used for contention based services pips was used for uh, contention free services but your dips is used for contention best services wlan complaint stations can have access to the medium immediately if it is free for the time period longer than the value defined as dips so dips can be calculated as dips equals to sips plus two times of slot coming to ifs extended interference space the ifs value is used by stations that have received a frame that contain errors when a frame is getting transmitted and uh, some error occurs only that time ifs will come into picture so by using the longer ifs the transmitting station will have enough time to recognize that the frame was not received properly before the receiving station commences transmission if during the ifs duration the station receives a frame correctly it will resume using dips or AIFS as appropriate ifs can be calculated as ifs equal in dfs equals to sips plus dips plus ag of px time ifs in edc can be calculated as sips equal uh, sips plus afs as per the access category plus ag for tx time so if you'll ask what is this ag for tx time this is the time expressed in microseconds which is required to transmit an ag frame afs arbitration interference space this afs shall be used by qs stations qs meaning quality of services so this is to transmit all data frames that is mpdus all management frames that is mmpdus and the following control frames like uh, ps pole rts cts block a request and blocking in afs the number of slot times used is called arbitration interference space number that is aifsn this 802.11e specifies four access categories 11e means is specified for qs quality of service so the four categories are like this 
first it will come the voice view voice two slots by default it will take video this will also take two slots best effort it will take three slots and the last one is background that will take seven slots so basically if you look at the AFS calculation it will calculate as per a particular as per the given access category so AIFS as per the access category equals to AIFSN that is arbitration interpret space number for the access category multiplied by the slot time plus SIPS time and the last one is uh, RIFS reduced interference space uh, the 802.11e cost amendment introduced the capability for transmitting radio to send a burst of frames during transmit opportunity that is what uh, in short form called as TXO during the frame burst a SIPS was used between each frame to ensure that no other radius transmitted during the frame burst but in the 802.11 n amendment defines new interference space that is uh, even shorter in time called uh, reduced interference space in short RIFS this is much shorter and uh, the interval is uh, of 2 microsecond for 11N501 this the use of uh, RIFS is absolute from 802.11 SE amendment onwards so 11 SE station operating in HD mode sets the RIFS mode field in HD operation element to 0 in 802.11 N standard use RIFS only when block acknowledgement which is mandatory for uh, 802.11n is an app. In the case of block and acknowledgement, this RIFS will come into picture. When this block ec are used, data frames of a contention free burst may send consecutively without interruption by A. At the end of the contention free burst, TX station will simply send a block ec request that is bar BAR and receiving a single block ec block ec, no, block acknowledgement. A RIFS interval can be used in place of a SIFS interval, resulting is less overhead during a frame burst. RIFS can only be used between high throughput radius that is HT radius in other words uh, we can say RIFS intervals can be used only when a green field high throughput network is in place the summary of this is uh, RIFS can be used only in case of 802.11 and that to pure HT mode high throughput So the below figure shows that uh, the use of RIFS during 802.11 frame transmission. So here you can note that AIFS used initially as of uh, cost data frames. So if you look at this, so after this AIFS, first data, then RIFS, then data, then RIFS then sender sent a block request 
Then after the SIPS interval, blocker came into picture. So the thing is when the sender gets an opportunity, initially what it was doing, after data, SIFS was coming to picture, then data, then SIPS, then block request, then SIPS, then block it. Now they reduce the time interval. Instead of SIPS, they are using the RIPS. Okay. So this is all uh, the summary of all interval spaces. Uh, if you look at the zero two point eleven B five, which is for two point four gigahertz. Slot time is twenty microseconds and uh, SIPS is ten microseconds. Pips, diffs. So this is how it is calculated. So overly, what I can say is, uh, for two point four gigahertz, B then G then N, slot time is uh, twenty microseconds. And for A, N, and AC for 5 gigahertz things, slot time is 9 microseconds. Similarly, SIPS for B, Z, and N 2.4 gigahertz, SIPS is 10 microseconds, whereas for 5 gigahertz things, it's 16 microseconds. And uh, here the calculation is mentioned. PIPS equal to SIPS plus slot time, DIPS equal to SIPS plus 2 slot time, and DIPS is constant factor that is 2 minus seconds. Okay? So, here you can see all the calculations PIPS, DIPS, and the DIPS is only for 802.11n. So, in this presentation, that's all from my side. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you would like to ask me some questions or comments, you are very much welcome. Thank you so much guys. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.